welcome back to a new video so pretty much straight off the last video I just brought my car around and just pulled back all this plastic so what I'm doing tonight is because this is all broken away with this sound deadening I'm just gonna nice make a nice round piece around there and take all this off back to the back and just take off all this broken looking stuff here and same thing down here cut cut through there just so it's all nice and tidy and then I'm going to clean off all this black we'll try and try and scotch it or sand it um, same with this just clean off all these strut towers these brackets here clean up these welds and then I'll be able to paint it white again and then down in, in there where the welds are just clean it right up um, so she's all looking almost factory kind of like it got inside the um, inside those guards there and yeah so I'm gonna start attacking this and try and cut it and start um, smashing it all off I'm also got to fill up this little hole there which I've been putting off um, so I'll make up a little piece of steel and probably glue it in like I did with this corner started cleaning out all this so I've just been pretty much going over this pretty crudely for 80 grit sandpaper just getting all this black aerosol off um, and cleaning it off just been around here buzzing with the surface rust from the spear wheel sitting in there and there was a little dents that were through here which had a bit of rust through it and cleaned off these two um, I guess you call them strut tower reinforcements so they used to have a mono shock in the back here, the adjustables. Um, so yeah, I'm just clean these out so I can spray some stuff in here and make it nice and tidy. Just finished sanding out all this area, scotching up all these areas and inside those inner guards. We're in the back here and all up here and all up the top there where I cut it all open to, the, to do the rust up there. So yeah, she's um pretty good just sprayed some more rust neutralizer in these joint or these seams here um, on both sides before I end up painting one here so um, and also glued in a little patch for that corner there so that glue is soft at the moment um, and then I'll clean it up once it's all dry so got the heater in here just drying it out and make warming up the panels before I spray some some more each over some of the bare bits of steel and then I'm gonna spray like a what you'd normally use on the on the sills, the chip um, rubber sort of coating, just so it makes it all nice and uniform, since it's not that pretty in here. And I'm just gonna get some urethane and tidy up some of the edges of where the sound deadening is, and even some of these pits and holes and from who welded this in on both sides. Boot is all painted now, so looking nice and white, nice and clean. Very really happy with that. Just put all of my wiring back in around, put them back in place, and put all these strut pieces in. Put some alloy tape over these holes. I'm not too sure what's supposed to be there, but there's no grommets or anything. Clean up my catch system, so that's to go up in here. So yeah, she's all looking good. Um, just pulled out my fuel injectors as well at the engine um, the car doesn't seem to be starting at the moment so I'm not too sure if they're a bit clogged up but yeah just pulled them out so um, I'm gonna take them out and, and take, get them sent to my brother and he's gonna clean them out like I did with my 20 well ones and um, see how we get on but there's fuel there there's spark and if I spray the old start your bastard in there it seems to fire up um, so I'm guessing they might be just a bit clogged from sitting. So that's where I'm going to leave this little video off at. Um, a little bit shorter than the other ones, but yeah, some good progress. Finally get some white paint on it. And um, next one I'm going to start blocking down this body. Make it all mint and get it all painted white. 